Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm really sorry, I know it's been like really long since I've uploaded any video of mine but it's never too late. Okay, so today's video is about some little yet important slash helpful information about castor oil. Okay, so first I'll just tell you a little in quick information about castor oil. So castor oil is an oil which is also called as Arundika Tail in Hindi, which I actually don't know what it is, but I just know what it is called in Hindi. So uh, it's like it's one of the most beneficial oil for your hair growth. It tends to grow your hair back, be it from your scalp or from eyebrows or your falling eyelashes, literally. Okay, so talking about the texture and everything. So this is how the castor oil comes like. It comes in a very light yellow color. So that's the bottle. I bought it from a departmental store near my house and this comes in light color it is a very viscous liquid so in layman language if I tell you it's really thick and very dense liquid um, oil unlike any other ordinary oil so it is very very thick trust me it is very sticky very sticky yeah so this is what the castor oil looks like now let me just also give you some quick information how you can deal with hair fall problems so if you are having some bowel patches around your scalp you can literally go ahead take some very little amount of this castor oil and you can actually rub in that area and you can apply it like um daily for a week two weeks or a month you will literally see the difference secondly if you really want to apply it on the scalp like you can actually apply it on the whole scalp then i must say you should in fact you ought to use very little amount of this oil because trust me like mark my words if you are not if you are using it like any other ordinary oil if you are applying so much on your scalp trust me it will take your life out once you are trying to wash it up because this oil uh, does not come out very easily or quickly so you have to use it very small in amount okay and um, also one thing like this is my personal recommendation um, it's completely up to you but this is what I have experienced it and that is um, not just this oil even any other oil you should not uh, keep it like overnight because like we Indian girls have this tendency to apply it and then leave it overnight and then wash it next day morning so why I'm why I'm saying I know this is a topic which is most discussed about. So disclaimer again I'm saying it it's my personal recommendation and the and the reason why I'm giving you this recommendation because I have experienced this personally. If you apply it, if you leave it overnight, your hair breaks. You tend to have more hair fall. So because oil secretes your oily dandruff which tends to uh, which tends to break your hair from the roots and obviously you have a lot of hair fall. Then secondly also like once you leave it overnight and you sleep on your pillow and you keep on turning whole night that oil which comes onto your pillow actually can cause acne and pimples to your skin. So that's personally my own recommendation. It's completely up to you. Nothing. I want to have a discussion about it. Sorry, I just slightly diverted from my topic. So anyways, that was also very important. So if you want to, so castor oil also brings a lot of shine to your hair. So you can actually use that small amount of hair oil and you can keep like for 2-3 hours before washing and this way you can actually get your hair here growth back and you can also get that lovely shine to your hair. Okay, castor oil also have a lot of benefits for your skin but this uh, this video is more about skin thing so I will definitely do a different type of video. Uh, okay so coming on to your eyebrows and your eyelashes. So right now it's like 
10 10 30 ish and i am going to sleep so this is the time when i'm going to apply my castor oil so this is sort of my night routine which comes so what you have to do is um you can actually take any spoolie or an old mascara wand so here i'm taking an old mascara wand this is how it looks like yeah so i have just cleaned it i just cleaned it and i've got this right so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just open this bottle and just, I'll just clean it. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to dip this in this very lightly. Take it out. Take the excess oil from this wand. Oh, it's too much. Now, Taking this spoolie, I'm just going to apply it on my eyelashes as I apply my mascara. Yeah. This is how you apply your castor oil your eyelashes and similarly I'm going to take this same wand I'm not again putting this inside this bottle the same spoolie I'm going to use it over my eyebrows so I'm just going to comb my eyebrows like this with this spoolie Yes, so there I went. Now you can go and wash this off and keep it safe and you can again use it next night. Now once you have applied it, you can go and go to sleep and next morning you can wash it off with your face washer on. Why this is important is the way you moisturize your hair with conditioner, moisturizer, this moisturize your skin. Similarly, you need to moisturize your um, eyebrows and your eyelashes because these days we are so much into mascara and eyelashes and all sort of things so we really need a lot of care so this is how you can make your eyelashes look really healthy you can grow them back, back thicker and thicker so this was all about my gastro and information about how to grow hair or uh, eyebrow hair back and eyelashes and and if you really like this video, do not forget to give a thumbs up. Do follow me on the social network insights which are listed below. And also do not forget to subscribe. Do share it to your friends too. And see you soon in the next video.